Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Campbell's Coins. Lots of choices when it comes to stacking silver. But is one generic silver better for stacking over another generic silver? Behind this plastic wall of bubble wrap, I have my favorite generic silver to stack. And in this episode, I'm gonna go over why it's my favorite generic silver to stack and why it might become your favorite too. Coming up. All right, the big reveal, Sunshine Mint. The Sunshine Mint is my favorite generic silver to stack. Why may you ask? The designs are much better than most generic silver out there, and they have a bunch out there from rounds to bars. Here are some images. It also has anti-counterfeiting technology built in like this. This requires a plastic reader to view its validity. I'm sure that this can be copied by those that have the ability and the means to do so, like the Chinese, but it does give one a sense of security and peace of mind when buying silver. The mint itself is very impressive. The silver is mined and minted in America. They sell high quality precious metals blanks, the blank rounds that are used for making coins, whether it's gold, silver, or platinum, to many governments and private mints around the world, including the US Mint. These blanks are what world mints use to mint their coins, and I've covered this in a couple of other videos. They don't sell just to other world mints either. They sell blanks to the public and offer custom designs. Sunshine Mint Silver literally costs the same as other generic silver, whether it's during periods of high demand or low demand. It is often found at the same premium as other generic silver rounds and bars, but has way more features and value compared to other generic silver. Here I have just three designs for you. So we have the one ounce Buffalo, and you're like, wow, I've seen the, the generic buffalo design. Sure. Um, this is a little different. It has SMI stamped in the bottom left-hand corner. And then on the, on the reverse, we have one troy ounce, 999 fine silver. And then there's this little, don't do that to me. Come on. Focus. Sorry about that. Then we have this little cutout in the middle of the silver. What the heck is that? This is the uh, anti counterfeiting technology. So there's a little plastic reader, and what you do is you put that card over your silver and you adjust it, and that card will read valid or invalid. So if you have that reader, which I have, but I haven't been able to find it. it. Would have been nice to show you on the video, right? You just put it over the 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 bar of the round, and then you just twist it until you can see the the words "valid." And I'll just ins insert an image here. But so it's a little bit different than other generic rounds out there. And I don't know if you can tell, but if you were to go grab some generic buffalo. The, the design of this one is just a little bit more detailed. I've seen some really basic buffaloes out there where <laughs> they don't even have like a little uh, goatee down here and then the lips look like uh, camel toe. Let's just put it that way. Um, and I can insert an image of that here. Anywho, um, so this is the, the Indian design. And then over here, I'm sure this is way, way more popular with people. We have the Screaming Eagle. And then uh, that's their typical design that they put out. And this is the back of it. 
There we go. Uh, so when you go to sell to a coin shop, which I don't really recommend you do, especially in a period of low demand, because um, you won't really get your money out of it, um, unless the price of whatever you're selling has gone up dramatically, you could be lowballed. And there's a few things, uh, especially in a low demand period, that um, a a coin shop, your local coin shop, might not accept just because they have too much of it already. Um, so one of the main things that a coin shop will look for three different things. They'll look for a mint mark. They'll look for the um, amount of silver that is in it. And they will look for the um, purity. So right here, we have one troy ounce. Down on the bottom, they have the purity. Three nines fine silver. And then on the front, we have the mint mark. Sunshine mint. Um, there's bonus points if your silver has a date on it. If your silver comes with a COA, sometimes that helps out more with the sell and popularity. Um, getting back to just the, the silver itself, um, you can see that this particular one is a very, very proof-like finish. You can just see that the finish is very high quality. Um, and then here I have a 10 ounce bar. This 10 ounce bar has that same round design in it. Then we have also the purity and the weight. And then on the back, really annoying. On the back, we have um, some anti counterfeiting technology with the design. And then here it shows mint mark SI and. Um, down here at the bottom, mint mark SI. So you'd also hold that that decoder plastic card over this, and it will tell you um, if the the bar is valid or not. Uh, there are a few things that also um, that I'm not a huge fan of, and that I'm gonna just back out a little bit here. Um, that can be said with a lot of different types of silver out there, but Sunshine Mint Silver has a proclivity, in my opinion, to Milk Spot. And I've covered Milk Spot videos, and you can find that right up here, in the upper right hand corner. Uh, basically, Milk Spotting occurs at the time that the silver blank is made. So silver is on a giant, giant sheet and, and it is cookie cutter stamped out. And then those, those blank discs are put into a giant wash. And that wash has like a detergent on it. Those bars and blanks go through an annealing process, basically a giant oven to kind of uh, soften the metal before it is stamped. Uh, it's not melting it, it just softens it. But what happens is, if any of that detergent is left on the, the blank, uh, whether it's a bar or a round, that annealing process bakes it into that bar or round. And then, uh, due to environmental circumstances or time, that milk spot comes out. Now, I have had some pretty bad luck with milk spotting. And I have stored silver in all sorts of locations to try to mitigate it, cold locations, warm locations, humid, non-humid, and I get it regardless. So I don't think that there is a special way to store your precious metals. Um, I mean, obviously store them well, but I'm just saying to store them uh, if you're thinking, oh, you just need to store them in a non-human environment, I don't think that's the case. I've stored my my silver in a very dry environment, and that's still come out. So it all comes down to the washing process. And I know we're deviating greatly, but this is a highly contentious topic within the silver stacking and collecting community of where milk spotting comes from. And I'm here to tell you that it's not just because uh, of where it was stored. If you were to look at Morgan's, you don't see Morgan's, Morgan silver dollars with milk spotting. Why is that? Because it was 
the round and the 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 blank was created differently. Anyways, getting back to the Sunshine Mints deviated just a little bit, but let me know what is your favorite generic silver to stack and why. Sound off in the comments below, people. I really want to hear from you. Thank you all so much for watching Campbell's Coins, and that is my two cents. Thank <laughs> you.